Hey guys, Dry to Arcana here, back with another character build guide. This time, Black Widow Veil of Shadows critical build. And let's jump right into it. So starting off, we're going to be looking at the, your priority stat, as usual. Um, the priority stat that we're going to want to focus in on is the stat called Might and Proficiency. So, and we want a little bit of Valor too. Not a lot of Valor, but we're going to want to dump a little bit into Valor. Okay, so that's pretty much going to be your main stats. The reason for this is that we're going to be in melee combat all the time. And we're going to be wanting to get that nice critical chance up as high as possible. Because we want to be critically hitting as much as we possibly can. So that's going to be our priority focus, is definitely in proficiency, might. A little bit precision is okay, but you really don't want precision. Valor, we're going to want to get up. As you can see, mine's a little low right now, simply because I don't have a lot of Valor gear. But I would like to get the Valor on this build up. Okay, next up is the skills. Now this is where the build definitely comes to life, is in your skill tree. And to start us off, we really don't need anything other than the first two, basically the base abilities of the light and heavy attack tree. You can dump points into this if you want. You don't really need it. Um, the build can work just fine without it. The real section that this build really comes to life is in the mastery tree. And the skills that we want to focus in on are the invisibility tree and your intrinsic ability tree the first step that we're going to look at is anything that increases critical attack chance so we're going to want critical melee which increases critical attack chance by 20 percent and then we want the and then we're going to want to go into specialty and you want to grab these right away because these are going to increase the power of the build and we want Night Terror, increases the duration of Veil of Shadows by 3 seconds, and increases the critical attack chance by 25%. Then we're also going to want this ability called Mortal Cloak, increases the critical attack chance for teammates, cloaked by Veil of Shadows by 30%. Keep in mind, even though it says teammates, you are technically a teammate, so you will still receive the buff for the 30% critical chance. So while you might say, oh, that doesn't sound that good because it only gives it to my teammates, it gives it to you too because you're also affected by the critical attack chance. So I would grab this Mortal Cloak. Um, Night, Night Terror will also be very effective because basically with Night Terror, Mortal Cloak, and the ability of critical melee, we're talking an increase in critical chance by 80%. So, sorry, 75%. And with the 75% critical chance, on top of the fact that this actually increases with your proficiency level. So the higher your proficiency, if you can get your proficiency to give you about 20%, or even 25% critical chance, then you're talking a 100% crit rate while Veil of Shadows is active. You will always be critting. So one of the issues that the build suffers from is the fact that Veil of Shadows has a very long cooldown. How do we fix this? The big way that we fix it is Invisible Recharge. Heroic Energy Recharge is 15% faster while invisible. And this ability called Melee Charge. Light and heavy attacks boost the energy of all heroic meters by 5%. This will allow us that while we're using our light attacks and heavy attacks while invisible, we are basically getting an additional 20% heroic energy charge. This will allow Veil of Shadows to almost completely be halfway done recharging by the time that it ends. The next thing we want to focus on is anything that increases the time of, of basically Veil of Shadows. So Shadow Walker is going to be definitely an ability we're going to want ASAP. Defeating an enemy while Veil of Shadows is active will extend the duration of the ability by 12 seconds. So while you're going to be taking out enemies very quickly while in Veil of Shadows, you will be 
also extending its time limit. Sorry, not 12 seconds, 1.2 seconds. So as long as we can stay in Veil of Shadows, our critical chance will always be at 100%. And as long as we're defeating enemies, it will remain active. Which pretty much guarantees that it'll that you'll have 100% critical chance during the whole time that Veil of Shadows is active. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the build. And as always, you will get to the gameplay portion here. And we'll see you after that. going so well for you. Kidding me. Interesting.
got to be kidding me. time. well for you. Well, guys, that's going to about cover it for the build. Anyways, guys, if you guys liked the video, please give it a like and please share. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.